The very first release of Gachaman to home video was done by a Japanese film company named Lily. This 8mm compilation release started with the first episode of Gachaman, presented in full color with sound. However, it was edited and did not contain the entire episode. In the late 70s, 8mm film was not cheap, which is reflected in the nearly $50 price for a single volume. The package was very nice, consisting of a full color, heavy cardboard outer sleeve with previously published artwork, an inner case with a folding snap closure and protective black plastic coating, the film on its own plastic reel, and a matching audio cassette of the episode in case the viewer didn't have a projector capable of playing back the optical soundtrack. Each release also included a catalog of other films offered by Lily, plus folded Gachamon posters and flyers. Some six years after the release of Gachamon episodes on 8mm came the show's first release on videotape. In 1984, a compilation edition of episodes 1, 2, 6, and 8 were joined together with opening and closing credits that were created specifically for the release. The cover for the tape featured an image from a previously published Tatsunoko fan club poster. The tape was marked Volume 1, indicating that further volumes may have been intended to appear at a later date, but none ever materialized. Since videotapes were made primarily for the rental market in 1984, they were not cheap. Gachamon was no exception. It retailed at 12,800 yen, or about 57 US dollars, a fairly staggering price at the time. However, this remained the only easily accessible way to see Gachamon for another five years. The first home video release of Gachamon that contained complete episodes was a set of VHS tapes released in 1989 by Polydor of Japan. Prices were still high, with each volume retailing for 8,200 yen, or about $65. The cassettes were housed in clamshell cases with printed artwork inserts. The art consisted of a combination of frame grabs specific to the episodes on that particular volume and promotional artwork. The first five volumes were released on the same day, and as a bonus to people who purchased them, each volume contained an exclusive phone card with a Gachimon image. Altogether, 30 episodes were released on the tapes, three per tape, which, unfortunately, still left more than two-thirds of the series unreleased. These tapes were re-released some five years later as budget titles. The reissues cost 3,800 yen, or about $38, and featured the same artwork as the original releases. This re-release was done in two waves, with the first five tapes coming out in April of 1994, and the last five coming out in July. As part of a promotion for a number of their series, Tatsunoko put out two Gachamon premium selection tapes in January of 1999. Each tape had two uncut episodes. Unlike earlier releases, these tapes did not start out with episode one. They contained non-sequential best of episodes singled out for release. The tapes were released in white clamshell cases with printed art inserts. The art for the tapes was original, and early buyers of the tapes were rewarded with a Gachamon phone strap. The tapes were later included in a comprehensive box set highlighting the works of Yoshitaka Amano at Tatsunoko Studios, at a cost of 40,000 yen, or about $400. When they were included in that set, an additional episode was added to each tape. Volume 1 now included episodes 18, 21, and 38 while Volume 2 included episodes 51, 71, and 95. The special versions of these tapes could only be found in the Amano box set. This release marks the first time all 105 uncut Gachamon episodes were made available for purchase in Japan. The set came in a white outer storage case with a large G on one side and a pencil sketch of Ken along with a full listing of contents on the other. Inside the outer box, there was another red storage case and a special full-color booklet that detailed the history of the series. The price tag was as impressive as the packaging the set came in, about $1,200.
Each of the 27 laser discs had original artwork by famous Japanese animation artists and staff who used to work on the original Gachaman series. The spines of the laser discs formed a build-up picture of the Gachaman G as featured on the box and booklet. The picture quality of the episodes was much improved over the previous VHS releases. However, there were still problems with many of the transfers, some appearing washed out, with uneven picture quality within the individual episodes. Aside from some slight editing to remove phrases that were considered to now be improper, all of the episodes were presented in their entirety, along with their preview trailers. Each episode had five chapter markers placed at the opening credits, part A of the story, part B of the story, the closing credits, and the next episode preview. Later, the discs were released as two disc sets on the Polygram label. The episode content and quality were exactly the same as in the box set. The packaging utilized the same cover images, with each volume created by joining the two individual discs as a gatefold spread, rather than as separate jackets. These two disc sets had OB strips that contained proof of purchase markers that could be sent in for additional premiums. There was an offer to send away for the special booklet that was included in the box set, if the buyer had picked up at least 10 of the individual volumes. Another offer was for one of three exclusive Gachamon phone card designs if all 14 volumes were purchased. In keeping with the Laserdisc release strategy, a 27 volume total was decided on. However, instead of a massive box set, the individual DVDs were released over the course of a year in waves of two or three volumes from May 2000 to June 2001. Instead of standard DVD cases, Tatsunoko opted for CD-like jewel cases. The first two DVD volumes contained three episodes each, while volumes three through 26 contained four episodes each, and volume 27 had the final three episodes. Each volume contained full-color 16-page information booklets. The information in the booklets included production techniques, interviews with the main staff and cast, a lot of previously unknown trivia information, additional supporting cast names, and model sheet drawings. The discs themselves contained the best looking versions of the Gachaman episodes yet released. There were still problems with some episodes, but generally they were better looking than the laser discs. As was the standard, each episode was presented complete, along with its next episode preview. Chapter markers on these releases were similar to the laser discs, including opening credits, parts A and B of the story, closing credits, and the next episode preview. Mail-in premiums were offered with each wave, including offers for a G-pin, a bird head pin, a limited edition CD pressing of the Gachaman Anime Sound Memorial LP, which contained a compilation of all Gachaman music, available commercially on other CDs, and a limited edition DVD pressing of the Gachaman feature film. Additionally, if buyers of the first eight DVDs purchased them at an Ishimaru, an electronics chain in Japan, they could have their receipts stamped in order to receive an exclusive G-Logo croissant pin. Extras content on the first two waves of the release were meager, consisting mainly of slideshows from the episodes included on each particular volume set to background music score selections, full versions of the opening and closing themes, and karaoke versions of those songs. However, beginning with the third wave, bonus material increased, including slideshows of rare sketches, cell setups, background paintings, merchandise photos, and model sheet drawings. Three years after the individual volumes were released, Nippon Columbia decided to put them all in a box and offer them again at a very reduced price, less than half of what the individual DVDs cost. The major differences for this release were the inclusion of a full-color outer box printed on slick, heavy cardboard, nine inner slip cases on slick, heavy cardboard, each housing three DVDs, and the fact that these releases were in the much more standard DVD keep cases. All of the programming, picture quality, bonus content, chapter markers, and booklet content were the same as the individual releases. The DVD case artwork was different, however, 
presenting familiar pieces in a new light. The screen images printed on the DVD surfaces were also different from the individual releases. This box was limited to only 1,500 sets, making it a very rare item. This release of the Gachaman feature film is one of the oddest releases in Gachaman history. It was offered on a disc format called VHD in Japan, very similar to the CED format in the US. This format, which was never very popular, utilized an optical disc housed inside a protective hard plastic case. Once inserted into the player, the approximately 10-inch disc was ejected from the case and actually read with a needle, much like a record. The film was spread to both sides of the disc, much like a double-sided laser disc, and there were no additional features or extras beyond a brief description of the series on the back cover of the sleeve. Artwork for the sleeve consisted of previously published artwork pieces. If you didn't happen to have a VHD player, the only way to get the Gachamon feature film on home video was to be one of the lucky few to receive this DVD release as a free bonus. To do so, you had to purchase all of the individually released Gachamon DVDs or the DVD box set. The feature film disc was offered twice, once for each release, and each time it was limited to 1,000 copies, making a mere 2,000 copies total. The disc came with a letter from Nippon Columbia telling the owner that they had received a very limited item. The disc itself was housed in a white DVD case that was inconsistent with the individual episode releases, which came in jewel cases. And though it did match the box set release better, there was no room in the box for the feature film DVD. There were no extras present on the disc at all, and the jacket featured previously published artwork from some of the feature film lobby cards. However, despite these minor issues, it was the only way to get the feature film in a home video format that most people could access. This Laserdisc release consisted of all 52 episodes of Gachaman 2 in a single box set, spread over 13 volumes. As with the original series release, the Laserdiscs were housed in a sturdy outer box with an inner slip case and individual jackets for each volume. The jacket art consisted of brand new images from individuals who originally worked on Gachaman 2 as animators and character designers, plus other famous names in Japanese animation. The overall transfer quality for this series was more consistent than the original series, though many of the original splice marks and edits between scenes were actually visible on the screen. However, aside from that, the episodes were sharp, bright, and clear with strong mono soundtracks. There were six chapter markers on most Gachaman 2 episodes, including the opening credits, part A of the story, the eye-catch title cards in the middle of the episode, part B of the story, the next episode preview, and the closing credits. Premiums included a large booklet with series information, model sheet drawings, and merchandise images. While not full color like the original series booklet, there were new images and a small bit of new information. The only piece of bonus video content was a brief preview for episode one that aired on Japanese TV the week before Gachaman 2 began. About a year and a half after the box set release, the Gachaman 2 laser discs were offered for sale individually. The discs ended up being cheaper to purchase this way, but aside from an offer to send away for the special booklet that came with the initial box set, there were no additional bonus materials. The Gachaman 2 DVDs were released in two five-disc boxes, each in two different versions. There were the standard box sets and the slightly more expensive sets which contained miniature figurines of the Science Ninja team, Ken and Joe with box one, and Jun, Jinpei, and Ryu with box two. Although the figurines were re-releases of an earlier set, these versions featured exclusive, custom, clear color schemes. Each of the five figures came with its own stand, which formed the familiar Gachaman G emblem when joined together. Both versions contained the same program content. Each volume came in a colorful outer slipcase that housed three standard size DVD cases. The artwork on the two slipcases by Shizuo Kawai was new, 
The artwork on the disc cases was all either previously published or newly composited versions of previously published pieces. When placed together, the spines of the DVDs formed a picture of Gachiman attacking with the other members of the team in flight behind him. Extras on the discs consisted of collections of early main character designs, model sheet drawings of characters and machinery, a short Gachiman 2 film originally designed to be viewed through a child's toy projector, plus the complete storyboards for the Gachiman 2 opening and closing credits. Other extras for the sets included a 24-page full-color booklet for each volume, featuring a variety of interviews, merchandise lists, photos, and episode synopses. Each volume of this Laserdisc release contained half of the Gachamon Fighter series. Instead of the more or less standard slipcase and inner case for each set, this release was housed in standard boxes that contained the individual Laserdiscs. The covers of each of the two boxes featured brand new art by Ipe Kori. And again, the individual Laserdisc jackets featured new illustrations by a variety of staff from the show and other big names in Japanese animation. Each disc contained four complete episodes, with five chapter stops, including the opening, part A and part B of the story, the next episode preview, and ending credits. Extras for this set were scanned, but included the episode one preview that aired on Japanese TV before the series started, plus clean versions of the two Gachamon Fighter opening credit sequences. Volume 1 included a folded poster of Joe the Condor with new exclusive artwork by series character designer Akimi Takata. And Volume 2 contained the Encyclopedia Gachiman Fighter, a booklet that featured model sheet drawings, photos, merchandise, and other information. The DVD release of Gachiman Fighter was done in two box sets. Each release came in a colorful outer slipcase. Box 1 contained five DVDs housed in three cases, and Box 2 contained four DVDs housed in two cases. The artwork on the two outer slip cases was comprised of previously published publicity art, combined with a selection of composited model sheet drawings. Extras on the discs included collections of publicity stills, character and mechanical model sheet drawings, pre-production paintings, alternate versions of the opening and closing credits, and a minute-long Gachamon fighter film that was originally made to be viewed through a children's handheld toy projector. A 24-page full-color booklet in each box featured a variety of interviews, information merchandise lists, photos, episode synopses, and previously unpublished character and machine model sheet drawings. <laughs>